Hi everyone, this is Abdul from Pythonist. First of all, I'm really sorry for this delay. Actually, I was working on a machine learning course. Anyhow, let's come to the point. In this video, as I mentioned in our previous clip, we are going to integrate a remote MySQL database instead of SQLite. Let's start this journey. So first of all, we have to create a MySQL database by using a remote service. There are many options we have like Google Cloud SQL Instance, AWS RDS Service, and Microsoft Azure. But for the sake of simplicity, we are going to use a free service available at freesqldatabase.com. It's pretty simple to set up a remote MySQL database using that service. And the great thing is that it's free of cost. They also have a premium plan with more options. But we are going to use the free one just for the demonstration. To set up the account, just log on to freesqldatabase.com and sign up. You will receive a link to set up your password in your email inbox. You can see I'm logged in using my account. Select the server location and hit save location button. After that, just click on start new database button. It will create a database for you and provide all the credentials. Before connecting to this database, you have to wait for a few minutes. You will receive another email with all the credentials along with the database password. Great. The second step is that we have to make a connection to this database from our Flask application. For that, I am going to use PyMySQL package. So first, we will install it by using pip install PyMySQL. Great. Now, inside the db.py, we will import it as import Pi MySQL and instead of SQLite3.connect, we will say pi mysql.connect and pass our database host, database name, password, character set, and the cursor class as pi mysql.cursors.dict cursor to get the result as a dictionary. Then the rest of the code will be similar. At the end, just call the close method to close the database connection. Now, if we run this file, it will create the book table in this database. Great. Now comes to the app.py file. First of all, remove the SQLite3 import statement, and instead of that, we will import pi mysql. Then inside the db underscore connection function, we need to replace the SQLite3.connect with pi mysql.connect along with its credentials. And also, I will change the accept statement accordingly. Great. Now, for the rest of the code, we need some minor changes to get this thing work. First of all, we need to change this for loop statement. In pi mysql, query object, where we are calling fetch all method, instead of integers, we need to pass dictionary keys. Because pi mysql fetch all returns a list of dictionaries as we mentioned it as the cursor class. And the second change we need to make, if you take a look under the post request, we are using the question mark as placeholders. In pi mysql, it will return a type error for string conversion. So we have to use percentage %s instead of question mark. Then the rest of the code will be similar. Let's test it using postman. So first, we will post a book. Select post as the method and pass the URL as http 127.0.0.1 slash books. And inside the body, we have to pass the title, author, and language. If we submit the request, you can see it returns our book. Now, if we send the get request to slash book slash zero, which is the ID of that book, and hit send, it will return that particular book. And if we need to update the book, we will change the method to put and update the book's values in body and submit the request. You can see the updated book here. And finally, just change the method to delete in order to remove that book and submit the request. Great. You can see that this book has been deleted. That's how we can integrate a remote MySQL database in our Flask API. I showed you the simplest way to achieve that. Definitely, there are more options we have. For example, we can utilize the SQL Alchemy package 
to manage all sorts of databases. That's it for now. If you like the content of this video, thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Thanks for watching.